Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading. Yay! Here on August the 4th of 2019. A bit of a stormy day. You might hear some thunder in the background as I'm doing our reading. And as usual, despite the thunder and the clouds, I am going to be going over some Tarot de Marseille Trumps, and then we're going to look at some astrology. So it will be interesting. Do stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille Trumps are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. And the cards that we have for this week are the Temperance card, the Priestess, and the tower. So here we have temperance. She's looking towards the left, the direction of the past, and she is blending with her cups. So she is assimilating perhaps knowledge, things that we picked up perhaps during the Mercury retrograde, okay? Which is gone now. We have Mercury direct, thank God. Makes things a lot calmer and a lot easier. Then we record and more fully assimilate these lessons as the priestess is looking towards the left as well, holding open her book of knowledge. So perhaps she is recording the distillation of the essence of what the angel of temperance is blending. And then once we have all that, we can just blow it up. <laughs> we can just fry the structures. We can say, okay. Okay, we got everything down to core point. Now it's just time to just let it go. That's what the tower is. I don't see it as a disaster in this context. I just simply see it as breaking structures. And I don't really have a problem with that. It can get colorful, but it is important to do at times. Okay, so let's look at the astrology. This kind of ties back a little bit in with our tarot reading, because uh, we do have... Uh, one planet going direct, and that same day another one going retrograde. So we got we got a couple of interesting things this week. Enough that I'm going to put on my reading glasses. Yay! See Bob with his reading glasses, and get out my uh, my pocket astrologer. Yep, I love this thing. Very accurate, very useful. Pocket version of the pocket astrologer. Jim Maynard's. Okay, it's very accurate. All right, so let's take a look here now. What we have going, uh, we have on the, okay, I'm sorry, I have to take a look here. Yeah, okay, here we go. On the on Thursday the 8th, we have Venus trining Jupiter. Now, this might be very interesting. Jupiter rules that day, okay, natural ruler of wealth. Venus, too, can tie in with personal income, or creativity, so this could be good maybe for expanding creativity. Very beneficial aspect to trying, okay? Very friendly aspect. And of course, Jupiter ruling income, this could be creativity with income, or creative ventures that generate income, or just a matter of working on expanding our overall abundance. Okay, so that's good. I like that. And then on Friday, we're going to have the Moon trining Venus. That's nice. We also have the moon conjunct Jupiter earlier in the day, around 7.25 p.m. The moon trining uh, Venus is going to be at 10.19 p.m. And I'm sorry, I didn't, rec I didn't mention the time for the Thursday aspect, the, uh, the uh, Venus trining Jupiter. That's going to be 4.27 p.m. These are all Eastern Daylight Savings Time uh, uh, timings okay so we have that and then we have on Sunday the 11th normally I won't look that forward on this blog but I need to do this we have a uh, Jupiter going direct first thing in the morning 9:38 a.m. yay Jupiter more money's gonna flow in you watch if you've been doing spells for money yep you're gonna start seeing your cookies from heaven mm-hmm yes you will and then unfortunately <laughs> at 10 26 p.m. Uh, Uranus is going to go retrograde. So that could be colorful for those of us who have sensitivity to Uranian energies. Uranus can rule things like upheaval, radicalism, 
In modern astrology, it rules my sign, Aquarius, okay? Very, very electric, very, very magical planet. And that's going to go retrograde, and that'll stay retrograde for a while. Let me take these glasses off. We'll go to the next part. Okay. Listen, I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you so much for watching my weekly tarot and astrology reading. Until I catch you next week, many, many blessings.